Hey everyone, this is the, this is actually the last fan I got from uh, fan collector Mark Welker along with that uh, Pelco Classic Concepts for wood bladed cane bladed spinner. This here is a Pelco Industrial that I always, that I had to get as well. I just couldn't resist it, so, and I love industrials like these, so. This is a 48 inch Pelco, and uh, of course, just like the last one with that spinner, no pull chain, so I'm gonna do zero to high. Really not much of an inrush on this one either, but it does draw, you know, close to an amp. I'm gonna go up to it. It moves a lot of air. Holy jeez. I mean, this is definitely gold line. This is definitely a gold line. Runs like one, it moves the air of one. Let's uh, do a distant airflow test. Wow, this thing is definitely, I will call this thing gold line. It, it, runs just like a gold line. This would be a gold line. Most powerful fan made. But there are some that are more powerful. 0.85 amps. Let's do a watts. 97 watts. And a power factor of one. Which is good. It does make a little bit of bearing noise as well but still goes. I might treat the bearings on that later on, but it still runs good enough. All right, do spin down. Also having a long spin down like a gold line. It's also a cast iron spinner motor. Just like the last couple of fans I've tested here were that. Of course, cast iron metal cast iron spinners. All right, let's do the decade box and see what kind of wall control I got to use on this. One, two. Three, four, five, six, might have some stiff bearings, seven, eight, huh, eight, twelve, twenty isn't even enough. Yeah, it's definitely got some stiff bearings. You just, uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine. to use a solid state with this one. So let's try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I think bearings are just stiff. If I can, uh, Okay, it started on eight. I think it would have started on six or seven if the bearings weren't as stiff, but it takes a lot of current too. And by the way, this is light kit adaptable, as you can see. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, So 8, 12, 20 might be also the control that I use on this one. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. And here is twenty. Okay, yep. And it's, so 20 is like the backed off high, and it's still quite a ways from high, so as far as current draw, so you're definitely safe with any wall control. Usually, smaller than 56 inch industrials don't do well on four speed, but this one will definitely work on a four speed. If I can get the bearings quiet enough, this might be my be a bedroom fan. And I just put a light kit on it. All right, so I'm just going to keep going. 23, 25, 28, here's 30, 34, 35. I'm just gonna max it out at 40 microfarads. I'm still under, because if I hit high, there's, I'm still well under with maxed out 40 microfarads. state variable speed control and see how this thing reacts with that.
again just to bring it up to high. Alright, and the current draw is a little bit under, but not bad. But, you know, it's very close with solid state versus straight high. So, other than that, that is all I have for this uh, Pelco Industrial 48 inches. And I still got more fans to test because I got a lot of acquisitions to go through. And uh, thanks for watching and subscribe.